is our finished napkin ring and we can select it, we can move it around, we can look at it from different angles but it clearly appears to be a cylinder cut out of a sphere. Um, let's just see what we've actually got here by doing unhide all. Oh, okay, uh, we'll select the volume and delete that and you can see that what we're actually doing, this sort of D shape here, uh, is an area which we're rotating about the uh, Y axis. So um, that's the sort of mechanics of it, but let's just see how it all starts. And we'll open over here a 3D page and just lighten it up a bit. Now, to get this to work properly, we really want the X and the Y axis to be in their usual positions, X and Y, and then this is Z. So this red line here is going to be y equals 1, and this is going to be a circular equation, and you can see that I've suggested y equals the square root of 4 minus x squared should produce a semicircle. Let's give that a go. So right-click, enter an equation, y equals 1. Ah, that's a plane, but if we double-click on it and ask for it to be plot as a 2D, then we get our nice line there. Uh, likewise, the circle, let's have a look at this, y equals square root, which is here, open brackets, 4 minus xx, close brackets, xx produces x squared. Now that's because we haven't done this yet, that's going to produce a bit like a shed roof, that sort of thing, um, because for all z uh, you get this semicircle, so because there's no z in this equation. So again, we double click on this and plot as a 2D. That's looking a little better, so we haven't got the ends. So double click and have a look at the startup options and just make it a bit more accurate by putting double O for that should do the trick. Perfect. Now I'm just going to press Control and drag. So I want to take a closer look at what we've got here. I want to create an area, a D-shaped area, between these two functions. So I'm going to put a point on the top function and I'm going to put a point on the bottom function. Now if I select them in that order it will produce an area between the top function and the bottom function. So right click, find area and I'm going to use Simpson's rule that gives you a nice clean area and it's uh, actually spot on for quadratic and cubics but not quite for, for circle but you get the idea it's going to produce a nice smooth area so all we've got to do now is just move this point along which I can do with the arrow keys and just move it down to here and get down to there and then they're going to select this one and go along to the right perfect now I've got my area, all I have to do is first of all make sure I've got the slow plot on and select that and right click, find the volume. So uh, about y equals zero, which is this line here, and click OK and right it goes. And there is our napkin ring looking really good. So all we've got to do now is just uh, hide the bits we don't want and uh, we're done. So select that, select that, and select that, and hide, and there is our napkin ring. Mm -hmm.